Boom! I'm Patrick Red. I believe in challenging the status quo, and today what we're going to talk about is the five mistakes to avoid when building your social circle. Building a social circle is so important because you're the average of the five friends that you hang around. And I've already wasted so much time in my life, and I know that maybe you feel like you've wasted being around the wrong types of people, but I'm gonna go through the five steps to avoid that, and at the end of this video, you'll feel as though you have the exact game plan and the step-by-step -step process how to actually avoid making those same mistakes. Let's not waste any time and let's hop right into mistake number one. Mistake number one when building your social circle, and I really want you to avoid this one, is thinking that the time is not right now. Not right now. Would you ever say, oh, I shouldn't have made that high status friend. Oh, I shouldn't have met my new best friend. Oh, I shouldn't have cut that really toxic person out of my life. Oh, I shouldn't have gone to that really crazy, amazing party that I'll never forget even when I'm 80 years old. Like nobody ever thinks about that. So think about these things as a regret reduction. What are the things that you are going to regret not doing when you're 80 years old? Are you gonna regret not building your social circle now, not cutting out those toxic people in your life right now? Or when you're 80 years old, are you gonna regret spending more time watching TV, staying at home, keeping those toxic people in your life? Most of us would say, logically, even logically, that right now would be the best time because that's the thing that we'd regret the least when we are 80 years old. This is called the regret reduction principle. And it essentially means that when you're 80 years old, this is the thing that you will regret the least out of the decisions that you make. So you never say, oh, I cut that toxic person on my life at the wrong time. Oh, I made that new best friend. I had that new crazy alignment in my life. Uh, so why would you say that about building your social circle? Because that's what actually helps you remove those toxic people in your life. Now, mistake number two, this is my favorite one personally, that people say that I don't have time. So not that the time isn't right now, that they plan to do it in the future, how many times have we said that to ourselves? But that you literally just don't have the time. Like you're working on your business, you're hustling, you're trying to make it to the next level in your job. Maybe you have some family commitments. Maybe you have other things that are more important like your health or your wealth, right? So the reason why I built a social circle personally is because I didn't have the time. I usually work like 10 to 12 hours a day and then at the end of the day, I'm able to go out for those two to three hours and get 90% of the results without having to go through thousands of like, oh, I don't know who these people are. Oh, I don't have friends that I can go hang out with. The entire purpose was because I didn't have the time. And I thought that was normal. But then when I talked to other people, some people were like, oh, well, I need to focus on my business first. I need to get my wealth in track. But the thing that actually got me wealth and the things that actually made me happy were being around people that I loved being around, cutting out those negative people and realizing that, yes, I can hustle for 12 hours a day. And then because I put in a little bit extra time building my social circle and having the forethought for what I actually want my life to look at the, at the end of all the work that I put in, because of that, now I can hustle 12 hours a day go out with my friends to either the club or on the weekends, like the boat parties that we have over here at the wharf. And I'm able to go party and then go to sleep and then not spend all this time going out mindlessly, just going through life without having the friends that I want, without having the other guys who are helping boost me up in my lifestyle. So the third mistake is not understanding why you want to build the social circle. I'll have guys endlessly go out and they're like, okay, I wanna become a nightclub promoter 
in Washington, D.C., right? But they don't have the end goal in mind. They just see the thing and the opportunity that's right in front of them, kind of have their head down, and they're kind of spinning their wheels because they realize once they spent like, you know, a year or two years or wasted that time on building a social circle that they don't actually like the people that are around them. Maybe they like being around high status entrepreneurs, but instead they've kind of taken the siren song and joined any elite social circle in nightlife and didn't really understand why they did it. I've had so many people that just end up at the end of it and they feel like they have golden handcuffs where meaning that they get okay results they get kind of the types of friends that they want and they're afraid to leave that because if they leave that social circle then they lose those friends that they've spent so much time on it and don't cling to a mistake just because you took a lot of time building it if you don't actually understand why and what the end goal is then like what's the purpose of building it in the first place don't just be focused on the idea of building a social circle, but understand that a social circle is meant to help you accomplish your goals. If your goal is to become super, super fit, well then, that, that's the goal, right? And one way that you can actually achieve that goal is by becoming friends with people at your gym, by becoming friends with other guys who are completely shredded, jacked, going to the gym every other day, guys that you can learn those types of fitness tips from. But if you're going to the gym and your goal isn't really to get shredded, but you become friends with a lot of shredded guys, well, that's cool. You'll probably be a little bit more fit, but don't expect building a social circle in a gym to help you with your entrepreneurial journey. Now, the fourth one, and this kind of ties into that, is picking the wrong niche. So a guy understands that he wants to have, he wants to have the crazy Dan Bolzerian uh, lifestyle, right? And so he wants to go travel, he wants to go be able to party in nightclubs, but actually he starts building a social circle in a small city. So he starts building a social circle that isn't gonna give him any leverage. And leverage meaning that the people that you know help you meet new people. One great example is one of my students, he knew that the types of people that he wanted to be around were in nightlife in Austin, Texas. And he first started building his social circle on East Six, which is called Dirty Six. And it's a very, very like trashy kind of area. Like there's literally horse poop from like the cops and everything like that. And just a really, really dirty spot. So he was building, he understood why he wanted to become a promoter. He wanted to go meet some more female friends. He wanted to become friends with club owners, but he literally just picked the wrong space in his city what he actually wanted was a little bit higher level types of people but he understood that he wanted to make female friends and become friends with club owners because he wanted to get access to people who were wealthier but he actually just literally picked the wrong places to go he started going out every single night on east six and all that time that he wasted he could have gone to west six which has very very classy dress codes very very hard to get in uh, compared to east six uh, sometimes there's a cover, sometimes there's uh, there's bottle service, much higher end performers, DJs, stuff that attracts a lot wealthier of a crowd. And he was very, very keen on trying to connect with more classier work style individuals because it was kind of more fit with, uh, he's a programmer. So it kind of fit with the type of social scene that he was looking to connect with. And so he literally just picked the wrong places to go. He understood why he was doing it. He wanted to make more female friends and have other guys that were really, really high status in these nightclubs, but he just picked the wrong places to go. Now, the fifth one is thinking that your life is different. So here's what I mean by this. Thinking that you are somehow fundamentally different from the next person who would actually go and take those same exact actions. So obviously like there's celebrities that are like born with fame, right? There's people that like just are born into it. Guys like, uh, you could even say Dan Bilzerian. Uh, you could say Dan Bilzerian, uh, Post Malone, 
Uh, Post Malone's one of my favorite. Logan Paul with the Nelk Boys. They're guys who feel like they have this giant celebritum to them. Uh, what's another one? Vitaly. 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 They're guys that have this larger than life image. But fundamentally, they did something that other people can do. Now, you know, thinking that your life is different is just a limiting mindset. There's guys where they'll be like, oh, I don't feel like I deserve this. Oh, I don't know if I deserve to be friends with other high status guys. I don't know how, why a high status guy would be friends with me. I don't know how to get access to these venues. These are all just limiting mindsets. And these are mistakes that if you just are able to actually flip these limiting beliefs, it helps you so much more. A great example of your life is different is I would say me personally. I was a really, really nerdy kid in high school. I worked nonstop. I worked through my lunch breaks. Um, I was constantly just like hustling and didn't really ever have a lot of uh, dating success when I was in high school. I purposely chose to go work instead of have friends. And the only difference and how I was able to actually overcome that was actually getting a mentor. So when you actually get a mentor, they're actually able to help you with all these five different mistakes that could or probably have already wasted years off your life. They've wasted years off my life. Thinking that right now wasn't the time. I wasted about two and a half years not making a social circle, being super, super depressed. Um, I don't have the time. Even more the reason, if you don't have the time, this actually helps you leverage your time and waste less of your time when you're actually going out to go meet people and have friends. The third reason for me personally was not understanding the why. I built a social circle and then I realized that that wasn't what I wanted. I spent probably about six months before I got a mentor just going around meeting people and I didn't really connect with any of them. And you might have that same feeling. You might feel like you're taking action and going and trying to meet people, but you don't actually like any of them. The fourth one is picking the wrong niche. Your environment limits the action that you take, but obviously you need to take action first. So if you're going out and you're just not physically able to meet people that you like, for example, if you're going, you know that you want to make more female friends, well, don't go to an all, uh, a club that only has guys in it. Um, another example is if your goal is to uh, raise money for a startup, well, you're, it's going to be hard for you to raise money in a city like Washington, D.C., where there literally are zero venture capital firms. But if you just went over to a spot like San Francisco, there's plenty of venture capital firms. So the wrong niche really limits the action that you actually take. And you'll never be able to achieve your results if you're not in the right niche. Then the fifth one is that thinking that your life is different. You've heard thousands and thousands of stories of some of the highest level celebrities and some of the most successful people coming from literally dirt to millionaire social circles. One of my testimonials, Haniel, literally was an immigrant in West Africa and now is filming and producing video for some of the top celebrities in, in the United States. And thinking that your life is different is just a limiting mindset that any mentor can easily help you overcome. You're sitting there relating to this, understanding, maybe you made some connections throughout this video to your own personal life, things that you know that you've messed up on, and I, I, I know just talking to you right now, I've made all of these mistakes, all of them. And the only way I was able to overcome these mistakes was through getting mentorship. My mentor really helped me overcome these limiting sticking points, and with that in mind, I wanna offer you a free 60 day action plan to actually help you escape from these limiting mindsets and help you avoid these life threatening mistakes that will consistently limit the action that you take in trying to build your social circle and getting rid of the negative toxic environments that you're around. Now, if you take a look down in the description down in the bio, you'll see a link there. What I want you to do is click that page and read that text on there and Click one of those appointment times to come book a call with either me or one of my coaches who are the best guys in teaching how to create your abundant social circle of cool high status friends that help you accomplish the goals that you have in life. Now, if you're a guy who doesn't complain, who doesn't hate other people, 
who really wants to limit the amount of toxic influence that other people have on your life. And you've already seen how you've had some of these five mistakes in your lifestyle already. And you understand maybe you've connected the dots a little bit between, oh, these are things that have really limited me or have wasted years off of your own personal life. I want you to get on that call with me or one of my coaches and we'll help you overcome these five mistakes and just get rid of them forever. I really, really believe in challenging the status quo. And because of that, I really want to show you how you can actually implement this 60 day action plan to get connected with high status guys and cool friends that you actually enjoy and are excited to be around and are also excited to be around you. And I just happened to have this call so I can help you implement that. Now, if you made it to the end of this video, just like my other videos, congratulations, because if you just go off and click off somewhere else, you've officially wasted you know, 10 to 15 minutes of your time. So don't waste your time. The time is right now. Like what I said right here, now is not the time. Would you ever say that changing your life, oh, sorry, now wasn't the right time. Until next time, peace out.